Have you ever wondered why we have so many acne problems in the world? In the United States alone, we spend billions of dollars on possible acne treatments and yet no results for the majority of people. And so with all that money spent, why do we have so many acne problems? And not only in as far as teenagers, which is when we expect to have acne, but many times it comes through pregnancy, unfortunately, and even beyond, even as an adult, uh, I in particular had acne well into my 20s until I discovered the cause of my acne, which I'm going to share with you in just a little bit towards the end of this video. So the, first of all, when you examine your skin, you'll realize that it's really uh, much deeper than skin deep, meaning that, that we have so many things below the skin, almost like an ocean, if you will. So let's begin. So the cost, like I had mentioned earlier, the global acne medication market is in the USA is $4.5 billion in 2017. Let me repeat that, $4.5 billion in 2017. That is a lot of money. So do you think these medications are working? I don't think so. The majority of people slather on creams, they go to specialists. For the most part, they do not have um, easy and natural solutions in the Western market. It is just a really an expensive arena of a lot of creams with very little results. Frustrating, right? So with that said, so now we have, uh, when you look into the different areas of the skin, from the pores to acne to uh, fine lines and wrinkles, you know, right now we're just gonna focus on the acne. So what exactly is that, you know? And so I would describe it in Asian medicine as a toxic factor. So I am trained in traditional Chinese medicine, and we talk about this all the time, about the four levels of disease. So basically, the top level is the skin. So I always say to my patients is that when something shows up in the skin, it means that there's something that has risen from the bottom, the deepest level, or the fourth level, which is the bone level, if you will, and then it's floated to the top, which are the other levels. And finally, when it reaches the top layer or the skin, we know this is a serious problem because this is not just a superficial problem. This is beyond the skin. This is in the blood level. So let's talk about hormones for a minute and acne and weight gain. So we know that when people have hormone problems, they tend to have acne issues so hormones do control and, um, you know, mitigate the, uh, the effects of acne. So we know that you have a hormone problem uh, if you have an acne issue, typically. And then the other part of it is that weight gain can have a big part of it because we know that the body is toxic when we're overweight. And this toxicity can greatly affect our skin. So hormones and teenagers, let's talk about that for a minute. So nothing could be more embarrassing than that, right? I remember when I was 16 years old and, you know, I went to the doctor to get some answers or solutions and he had none. And what he told me was basically that I have to live with it. And even if he had recommended Accutane, I wouldn't have done it at that time, even though that was quite some time ago. But I can tell you that at age 16, I had cystic acne all over my back and my face. It would bleed and it was painful, and it was just awful. So I can relate. You know, I mean, you feel embarrassed. You don't want to go outside, go swimming to a public pool or even to the beach. All of these things can greatly affect your life, and it's just embarrassing. So basically, uh, I overcame that, by the way, and the sun was very, very helpful as a simple remedy. The sun can be helpful to help heal the skin, but it wasn't the only answer for me, and it didn't solve all of my problems. Another type of hormone um, acne problem is during pregnancy. So there are a lot of active hormones during pregnancy. So it, it makes sense that if your hormones are out of balance during pregnancy, one of the most active times of hormone fluctuations is pregnancy, then it makes sense 
that people tend to have acne during pregnancy. Now, another clue here that you should be looking at and listening to carefully during this uh, video series is to be aware that when you have acne, it's important to know where it's located. Like we consider acne on the back. You know, it could be like a digestive or small intestine issue. And different areas like the chin can be the lower bowel or the colon. Areas of the cheek and face can be actually related to the stomach. And then finally, uh, digestion can also be on the top of the uh, forehead. So you have to be aware of where it's located. Location, location, location. Now let's go on to blood and acne. So the blood is really important because when you have blood problems, it means you have toxic blood that leads to an acne issue. So nothing could be more important than our blood because when you think about it, it is the oil, the life blood, if you will. Just like a plant has chlorophyll to keep it alive, it is the blood of a plant is chlorophyll, which is why eating the rainbow, which we'll talk about in a minute, has such a great effect on skin problems. By eating more vegetables and more chlorophyll, you can literally cleanse your skin by cleansing your blood. So remember, you, if you have toxic skin, you have toxic blood. And it must be corrected for you to have clean, healthy skin once again. So filtration. So you hear, you, hear, you see on one side, the left side, of the pool is very, you know, algae, it's bad. Nobody would swim in that pool if they had any sense. And so you can see how the same thing happens to our pool of blood. Basically, it's just like algae in a pool. And then when you get all everything cleaned up and the filtration going and you got clean water in the pool again, on the right, you can see a clean filtered pool, which is just like healthy skin. Isn't that amazing? Wouldn't you like your skin to look like that clean, pristine pool? Well, it's possible. So stay tuned. So there are four filters, or three major filters, that are related to the gut in Asian medicine and related to your skin. So the first one's called the liver. And so we all know that the liver is important, but sometimes I don't think we realize that if you have slightly yellow eyes or red eyes, if you have a big belly or you have gained a lot of weight, if you have constipation, trouble with your bowels, diarrhea, IBS, all of these are signs of liver problems, especially feeling bloated and distended, if you know what I mean. So the second filter is the kidney. So the kidney has to do with the frequency of urination, getting up in the middle of the night, having low back pain, just feeling bloated, and especially holding a lot of weight on the sides of your waist. It just doesn't feel right, you know, and feeling bloated and retaining water in your ankles especially, and it seems to go away in the morning, but you tend to gain the water throughout the day. This is a sign of a kidney problem. And, you know, also when you don't have really strong urination, strong urine flow or output, Finally, the spleen is a filter we don't even think about, right? Well, the spleen is just as important as all, all these other organs. It lives on the left side of your body, your rib cage. The liver lives on the right side, and the kidneys live on the back, in the back. So with that said, the spleen is a filter of your skin. It is one of the most important filters. It's always neglected. So that's why it's important not to put toxic ingredients on your skin unless you know it's a clean ingredient with clean shampoo, clean soaps, because many times these um, toxic ingredients and in shampoos and soaps and perfumes and colognes are creating part of the problem, putting more garbage back into your blood. Finally, the gut has to be cleaned up. So the gut has to be clean in order for you to have clean skin. So when you think about it, the gut is really a big issue. And if you've had a lot of antibiotics or you have a lot of gas or bloating, then you have a toxic bowel or leaky gut. So you have to have a clean gut to have clean skin. So let's move on. So white trash. So what does the white trash mean? 
Well, anything that's white and refined, sugar, flour, dairy, all this is, uh, affects our hormones. It affects the gut especially. And that's why vegetables are so powerful. Like eating a salad will clean your skin up so much faster versus what works against you is eating donuts and bread and flour. So another thing you should avoid is sushi. Sushi, I believe, is a big causation factor for having acne. So when you eat a lot of sushi, unfortunately, or even a little, uh, they tend to carry parasites, and parasites tend to create acne. Yes, it's true. Let me repeat that. I know it's sad, hard to take, but I promise you that if you follow my direction and you give this at least a 30 to 90 days is what I believe it takes to turn your skin around, then you can start having healthy skin again in 30 to 90 days by avoiding, avoiding sushi because sushi definitely contains parasites. The other factor is water, hydration. So if you drink enough filtered water that's not bottled water, not full of toxins, then you can start hydrating your cells, flushing out your blood, cleansing your kidneys and your liver and your spleen. And this is key to healthy skin. And the last thing is eating, you know, the rainbow. Like I mentioned, what's, what's the rainbow? Well, the rainbow is eating uh, a combination of vegetables that are raw, organic, fresh, and uh, the raw is the key because raw vegetables will clean out your gut and, and really purify your blood through all that chlorophyll and all the phytonutrients that plants contain. So I'm excited to share this with you. And I hope you learned something about acne and that you realize that if you don't do something about your skin, because it's, it's, it's because you have toxic blood. And really, the question is, is what type of toxic blood do you have? Most likely, it's parasites, dehydration, a leaky gut, hormones, or something else. And so one of the things I always do is I like to find the cause, because this is my gift to the world, is to find the cause for you and what's causing your acne today. So for now, I pray that you'll have healthy skin soon by following these remedies and recommendations. So for now, mahalo, and I'll see you soon.